So today's ride is going to be fairly epic, we think. Did this in the Pioneer event a few years ago, and it was quite a tough stage. Water super, super, super clear. So we're going to head up, go through town here. We're here in Seven Mile at the moment, and we're heading through Queenstown, out the other side, and off to the Moonlight track, and back through Moat Lake, and down Phoenix. Turn on to the Moonlight track. Let's go. Heading up there into those mountains. How many lakes are we going to see today, Suze? Three. Three lakes. Nice little tree-lined avenue before the pain really begins. So we are going to Moak Lake, which is about five hours away according to this. And then we're going to follow the track down around Moak Lake to past Lake Dispute and down the Phoenix track. Line choices through the rocks, it's pretty neat. What am I looking at? The canyon swing just down below us. Oh yeah. Stop in. So it's a canyon swing rather than a bungee. Okay. So right, nice drop off to the right, mountain straight ahead. The only other time we've done this was in a race and it was just like a procession. Your head was down, you didn't really get to look around or even choose a, a good line. You were just following the person in front blindly. Oh, probably picked a better line than me there though. But looks interesting. Not sure of the line here. Oh, fuck. Whew. Not all totally rideable for us, but pretty spectacular. Turn the camera on so I can capture the spectacular crashes. Oh, yep. The trail bike would be fun on this too, I guess. More treacherous downhill. <laughs> oh, I've gone wrong already. Should have gone straight through. Trail the bending. G'day! Guess what guys, we're on our track. Or I'm on your track I suppose. Thanks guys. Wow, oh, see the fly population. Oh. Oh, right in the middle of that one. Can't see quite what's lurking in the shadows and the track, whether it's a big rock or cow deposits. Yes. Yeah. Alright. But looks interesting. It's quite something. Yeah. 
drop down there. Whoa, wrong line. Some more views of the gorge and difficult trail to negotiate. And us, oh, off the side of the, yeah. oh, this guy's having another go already. Over the side. Over the side. There we go. We'll leave you alone now. Come up. Let's go. Coming through. Coming through. Coming through your swamp fisted mud poo pit. Come on. Keep gate closed. Have a look at it. I think we quite know where we're heading just yet. Should be signposted to the lake. Oh yeah, this is a bit loose. Alright, we better get some momentum, we got a hill climb. <laughs> and I didn't get in gear beforehand. Breeze up at Lake Milk. Yeah, camp crown just to the left. Non powered, but they've got a couple of loos, no showers, but you've got a lake. At Lake Milk, we've been going for just on three hours and 30 kilometres, and, and got a little bridge here that we've got to ride across to. This is actually the outlet of Lake Milk. Your day going, buddy? Hey, you alright? I didn't bring any bread with us. You should have been at Lake Wakatipu. I had some there, mate. So yeah, Lake Moak is surrounded by amazing looking mountains, There's steep peaks everywhere. That's lovely track that goes right around the lake that you can bike and run, walk.
Yeah, it's a pretty steep pinnacle. Go, Suze, go! So you've been going three hours nine. Um, yeah, total ascent, 1,000 meters, 31K, 32K, and it's time for a Vegemite sandwich. Sheltering from a little bit of a cool breeze at Lake Moak. But the view is pretty, I'm not gonna say spectacular, pretty amazing, pretty fantastic. We see the end of the lake just around the corner. But lucky for us, the trail continues. Break my heart. I like a dispute outlet to it to three hours this way. A Scottish sizzle, thistle, a bit of Madagari. Sketchy downhill, lots of loose rocks. Try and stay out of the, the main line. Hundred mils of speed to get used up pretty quick. Oh. There we are. Oh. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Oh god, terrible line. Back at Lake Dispute, looking pretty good. And this is the end of Lake Dispute. No, it's not. They look remarkable. The remarkables have appeared in front of us. So last piece of downhill on our little epic ride. And we're looking out for a trail off going off to the left called Phoenix. Is our third lake of the day, Lake Wapitipu, the main lake in Queenstown. Remarkables in the background. Rising from the ashes, the Phoenix Trail. Whoa.
Somewhere here, somewhere here, come on. That's about it. Feed it. Have a look at this Phoenix trail. Hopefully it comes out somewhere near the camper van if it's still there. Oh, let's just stop a moment, take this in. I'm sure those that know this track would absolutely vomit twice as fast as we will. Oh, jeez, just took the sunglasses off and big fly straight in the eye. Oh, yo. Rocks. Up. Made it. Got more of the lake here. And all the way around there. My man! Oh, that's so flowy. How good was that? Oh shit! Ooh. Okay, involuntary air, but hey, it worked. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice, awesome bit of fun. Good little booty. Do you remember some switchbacks? Oh, I've got a nice wide line there. Tape. Tape it's open. Ooh. What a way to finish. What a way to finish your ride. Oh, a bit of a double, so it's way too late. Getting closer. Whoop. Oh, I could jump that too. All these things I can see. But can't hit on the wrong line. Oh, here's another little food. Oh, there's a car. Must be the end. Awesome. Love that trail. Love that trail. And that is the end of our ride, folks. Four hours 18 with a half hour hunt stop. If I was to recommend it to you, maybe miss out the Moonlight Trail and just go explore up at the lakes at Dispute and Moke. Let me add on a bit of the trails here at Seven Mile. After our ride, we headed to the 12 mile campground. $15 per person per night gets you this pretty awesome view. We chilled out, watched the sun set light up the mountains. Stunner. Thanks for watching.